house if you were it's Ian here I want to show you how to return the the XY values or the lat longitude values for a point so I'm going to just what I'll do is I'm going to capture something in, um, in Google Earth and then I will export that to a KML open it in QGIS and then see what we can return for uh, the the XY values okay so let's say for instance we wanted the front gate. I'm just going to add a place mark and I will call it let's just call it stats SA gate for instance. I'll just move this into place. Okay. So you can see in Google Earth it's easy enough. You can actually just copy out the Latin longitude. We'll say okay. Alright. Let's do uh, another one or two things. Let's maybe add one here and we'll just call this, I think this is a reservoir. You can correct me if I'm wrong here. Okay, so we've got reservoir and then this one, Freedom Park Monument. So we'll just go Freedom Park. Monument, monument. Okay, so likewise, like I said, so you can either copy out the Latin longitude from those place marks, and the other option is you export them to a KML, and we will then be able to return the uh, new columns for the X and Y values. So what we can do here is I'm just going to put these all in one layer. So I'm just going to go add folder, and what should I call it? Let's just call it Salvo Cop. Alright, and then stick these into that same folder. Then I'll export that folder as the KML. So now I can say save place as. I'm going to put it somewhere on my hard drive. Um, where should we put it? Let's just put it straight in here. I want it to be a KML. Salvo Corp. Okay, so that, that should have exported as a KML now. And I'm going to close down. Google Earth, open up QGIS. I want to add that same KML to QGIS. Let's go find it. There it is there. Okay, so there's our three points. Now that is still a KML, so I'm going to convert it into a shapefile first. So I've got my coordinate reference system for my project down here, which is EPSG4326. So the, the coordinates for that will be in decimal degrees. So let's see. That we'll first of all, we'll convert it into a, um, a new shape file. And we'll use that coordinate reference system. So let's go put it in the same place. In there. Oh, no, I've gone too far. Okay, it's going to be a shape file. Let's just call it Sobocorp Geographic Coordinate Reference System. Okay, and we'll use that that uh, coordinate reference system. So we can say okay. All right, there it is. And what? Let's just turn on the background uh, satellite imagery so we can just make sure that it's in the right place. And possibly just change the color and size. Uh, let's make that a three. And for this example, yellow should be fine. Okay, so there we go. So there's our, there's our three points. Now what we need to do is to return the XY or the Latin longitude values. So now the XY would be the meters and the lat long would be decimal degrees. So currently if we re open up the attribute table for this shape file we've created, this is what we get. And these columns all come through when you export a KML that's come from um, uh, Google Earth into a, sh into a, sh into a shape file. So these all get all get pulled through. So I'm just going to remove those. I don't need all those columns. Okay. So I've deleted all those columns. But what I will do is add a couple new columns. So we're going to go and say create a new column. We'll call it latitude. Latitude is going to be a decimal number, and we'll change the precision up to six. And then, much like when you're calculating for area where you type in dollar sign area, when you're calculating for X and Y, you just type in dollar sign X 
Okay, so that's longitude, dollar sign Y. Okay, so negative is latitude. So we know that that will return the value of latitude for that point. So we can say OK. OK, so there are the values. And then we just repeat that step. So you need to be inside an editing session. And then repeat that step, except this time we're going to go longitude. We'll choose that same uh, number format. And we'll change it to 6. And now we just say dollar sign X. And that's for longitude. We'll say OK. And there you go. So now those are latitude and longitude decimal degrees. And that is as easy as it, as it as it is. I mean, it's a pretty simple process. So now let's say we actually wanted the meters coordinates for this projection. Um, if it was how took 94, LO 29, let's say. So what we'll do is, well, first of all, we need to re-export that shape file to a new um, coordinate reference system. So we're going to go export and then we'll just call it something else this time we'll go salvo corp uh what should we call it let's just call it lo 29 so we know where it's coming from and now we just need to make sure we choose the right coordinate reference system and do i have there we go there's how to be took lo 19 if we select that and say okay that'll now create our new shape file we can turn that one off so now what it's going to do is, it's so the new shape file is going to have all the attributes of the the um, file that it came from. So we exported from SalvoCorp to Geographic Coordinate Reference System to this new one which we've just created. And it will have the same uh, attribute data. So if we have a look at the attributes, it will still have the latin longitude. So that's fine, we can leave those in. So if we want to calculate for X and Y now, we can start an editing session. And since this is a new, a different coordinate reference system, when we calculate for, for X and Y, it's going to calculate for meters. It won't come through in decimal degrees. So let's see if that comes through. So we'll go decimal number as well. Uh, we can also make this 6, which is maybe a little bit too big, especially if it's meters. Let's make that 2. And then we can just go dollar sign $x. So it's exactly the same. Now if you look down here, here's your output preview. Okay, so that is X. We'll say OK. There's our value in meters. And now if we go to do that again, we can calculate for Y. And then this decimal number. I think, we did we make that too? I think so. And then dollar sign Y and OK. And then returns the Y value. Okay, so there we go. So now we can save those edits. Stop editing. We save those edits. And there we go. So now we've calculated for each of those points the coordinates uh, in decimal degrees and in this case projected meters. And our view um, or our project is still in decimal degrees. So these values on the, uh, the coordinates down here, you'll see when we hover over those points, they'll be in decimal degrees. But if we did change this to the ca same coordinate reference system as this new value here, which was hard to be as took LO27, I think. Uh, so let me go, I think I'm going to have to go find that. No, 29, I said. 29, let's go find 29. We say apply and OK. Now when we hover over those points, you'll see these values down here in meters because it's a new projection. But I think the main thing you actually wanted to do was to be able to calculate the, uh, the, the new columns and the XY or the lat longitude values for those columns and that's how you do it and you would do the same so so we exported from um, Google Earth and then calculated for for the new columns but you could also create a shape file from scratch and do the exact same thing so so the the, the procedure won't change it's just that the data came from a KML but if it was from a shape file uh, originally it would be exactly the same and that's how you do it so yeah I hope you Hope you, you you got that. Um, you'll also notice that the the projection has flipped this upside down. That's just because it's a projection that uh, is 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 something that's um, what do they call it? It's uh, east south up as opposed to east north up and all we, or, or east west up. And we just change this projection to how to best took. It's the Zangi one. So if I go, so it's just a different projection. That's why it's flipped it. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. But let's show you what happens if we change it to Zangi. Okay, and apply. And you see it's flipped it around again. 
So that just a, that's just a projection. So different projections will do different things and tra transform your data into uh, different uh, sort of formats. So, so don't worry too much about that. The main thing you wanted to calculate was, or to be able to calculate was for, for X and Y. And that's how you do it. So give me a shout if, any, if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, yeah, take it easy. We'll chat soon. Cheers.